Shumai Bethany, in response to your video last week, I don't think anyone has one specific function in life, but I am happy to pick up on a function that you assigned me last week, which is the function of being in charge of big words. But I will leave the big words to you. The big word I'm going to be in charge of this week is pareidolia. 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 Pareidolia is the fancy term for seeing patterns in randomness. It's the reason why we see the man on the moon, faces on Mars, and Jesus on toasties. The human mind is a pattern recognising machine. We've evolved to see patterns everywhere. Way back in the old olden days, our primitive ancestors had to face a lot more viscerally terrifying stuff than we do today. They had to rough out the horrors of the night without the ability to simply turn on a light and banish the darkness. And so at all times, their minds would have them straining their eyes against the darkness, searching for dangers. Let's oversimplify the matter massively now by saying that there were two types of minds. In one mind, the pattern recognising impulse was far too active. They would see dangers where no dangers exist and then they would be on the defensive or they would flee, running from shadows. And in the other type of mind, the pattern recognising impulse was underactive. They would spend the hours of darkness peering out and being at ease with what they saw, relaxed and happy. Until they got mauled by monsters. <laughs> you see, if your pattern recognition is seeing too many monsters, the only ill effect is anxiety. At least you're still alive. Whereas if you aren't seeing enough, monsters go and get you. And enough of those types of minds were gotten by monsters that over the great expanse of time it took us to evolve, the overactive paranoid mind flourished and reproduced much more than the other. And so that's one reason why we see faces and figures when we peer out into that bleak darkness, or when we spend an enthralling evening enjoying some analog snow. An interesting flip side to Paradolia is a piece of software by Google called Deep Dream. Now I don't really understand the technical side of it, but I think they were trying to teach computers to recognise patterns. They compiled a huge database of image resources for the program to check new data against, and then they fiddled with the fiddly diddly bits until the computer got good at recognising what was what. I don't really understand this bit because you are the computery side of the cure die. There's a SciShow video on the topic, so I'm just going to put that all up in there down below. Much easier for you to understand, much more information than I can possibly give you. Good stuff. Anyhow, it's gotten to the point where you can feed your own images into this and it will use this pattern recognition algorithm to morphody doodle some like-for-like -like shapes into your images. And the effect can be very unsettling. I fed our faces into this, and as you can see, the effect is very swooshy and strange, and it makes us look as if we're made up of peacock feathers. What's the point of this? I don't know, but it is cool. There's also a video clip from the film Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which stars Jonathan Depp, and is a very famous film about drugs, which has been fed through the software, and the effect is more than a little nauseating, but it is really cool, so the ad is all up in the down below. Two links, links, links. I think the takeaway from this is that your brain is trying very hard to make sure that you don't die. But by doing that, it's often feeding you bad or even false information. So perhaps we should all learn to take our brains with a pinch of salt. And more importantly, always look out for monsters. Farewell. Do the cure, do the cure, do the cure.